So Cincinnati Children's has been a nightmare, to, to put it politely. She, they, they treated her like a mental patient. Um, I mentioned the third hospital visit. And with that one, when she was, so she was supposed to be in there for two weeks the in, for the inpatient rehabilitation. They were abusive. They compared her, I mean, they would say, hey, with the rehabilitation, um, a baby can crawl. Why, you can crawl, too. A baby can hold their um, bladder, so can, you should be able to, too. Warning. Censorship. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini bringing you a two-part series that features the mother of a COVID-19 injection injured child. This story is unique because this was a child directly involved in the phase three clinical trials that Pfizer conducted at Cincinnati Children's Hospital in Ohio that began in the summer of 2020. Well, sadly, Elon Musk has not purchased YouTube yet, and so I cannot risk telling this real-life story in full here. To view the full uncensored report, you will have to scroll down to the description below and click the link beside where it says full report to be redirected to a platform that does not engage in censorship of lived reality. I'll catch you on the flip side. Can you believe that Tim Horton's camps are putting kids at risk by forcing this same injection on all of their campers to participate in their camp? We've started a petition at letkidscamp.com where you can view my full report on the subject and sign that petition in opposition of this egregious mandate. To find out more and sign, again, you can visit letkidscamp.com.